So this will involve primary, secondary and tertiary. And many of the conditions can be managed by GPs if given adequate training, support, guidelines for referral. And we hope that uh, each region will start working with the GPs and their paediatricians and physicians and the specialists in allergy and immunology and other health professionals with consumers to start developing these models of care. I think the management of patients with complex allergic conditions involves both GPs and specialists like myself. Um, so it's really important that it's not just all done by us because we often see these patients uh, once a year. So GPs need to be involved in managing the day-to-day -day asthma which is potentially a huge risk factor of bad reactions in patients with food allergies. So it's a, it's a very much a team approach working together with many of the issues best handled uh, by GPs or pediatricians and physicians, but we need to work together to try and help educate each other and develop better guidelines and support uh, for each other. Hmm and how we support, you know, I work in Western Australia, somebody coming from Kananara to fly 3,000 kilometers to see me, many of these conditions hopefully can be managed by the GP there if we provide them with adequate uh, support and uh, skills.